He was always somebody that I went to for, for advice, or when I had a problem, or when you know, I was nervous about something. Or I've worn this ring for about 13 years now. It used to belong to my dad. Um, it was his wedding ring. He died when I was in middle school and it's been mine ever since. And there have been times when I thought about it doesn't fit perfectly. It's not, you know, like polished or I haven't gotten it, you know, updated, I guess, ever since I've worn it. But um, I like that it's just exactly the way it was when he wore it. It kind of makes me feel closer to him. It's kind of like one of those things I feel like it brings me good karma almost. Yeah, it comes undone that way. It was given to me when I was, I believe, 13 um, for a birthday for my uncle. And it's, you know, special to me because it's from Cape Cod and my family's been going there every summer. I can't really redo it once I do it. And I've just had it on for so long, I can't imagine my wrist without it. I guess timing couldn't have been better in terms of mixing tragedy with some hope, I guess. My ring is a 2013 World Championship Red Sox ring. It was a good and bad year. Good that we won the World Series. Bad that, you know, we had the Boston Marathon bombings that year. And that's the year that I lost my mom as well to cancer. I hate going in and out of the safe, so uh, so I just have it hidden in my house. You know, I'm in the hospital bed, and uh, was the Be Strong logo for above my mom's bed, and um, you know, and um, you know, she was surrounded with like Be Strong stuff. So the fact that it's on this ring um, as a permanent fixture um, will always be special to me. really religious, but oftentimes I'll find myself just saying the rosary because I wear it all the time. It's just always a part of my day. I wear a rosary ring. It was my mom's. Um, she had it for about five years before I got it, and I've been wearing it for about eight years now. So I think 13 years in total has been in my family. For me, it's just kind of a connection to keep my mom in my life all the time. Say At first, I didn't really like it that much because I did draw a lot of attention to the ring, but now it's something I really love because you don't see thumb rings often, and I think it's um, a really great statement, actually. So when I wear it every day, people do ask me about it all the time. I was like, oh, I should wear the ring, like, it'll be symbolic. And I went to look for it, and it wasn't in the box. And I was freaking out, like, where did this ring go? And I thought my mom was gonna kill me. I was like, how could I lose this? Like, this is the most priceless thing that I own. Like, how did I possibly lose it? My grandfather gave it to me a few years before he passed away, and he actually thought it was his mason ring when he gave it to me, and I thought it was the coolest thing in the whole world. He passed away, and I was like, oh, maybe I should wear this around now to like kind of like remember him. And I started to wear it, and then I found out that it wasn't actually his mason ring, it was his high school ring. And I don't really consider myself to be that religious, like that spiritual, but like, for whatever reason, I decided to kind of like close my eyes and like pray, sort of. Like I was like, like God, Grandpa, like, help me find the ring. Like more than that, but like that's the gist of it. And right as I said that, I got a Facebook message from a group chat that I'm in that they were trying to describe something else, like something on a website or something. They were like, look on the top right. And for some reason, my mind was just like, okay. And I looked at the top right of the closest thing that was near me, which was my Bolton board. And the ring was hanging by a thread on the top right corner of my Bolton board. And I was like, what? And I ran over and I grabbed it and I put it on and I was like crying. I was like, oh my God, what is happening? 
and everything was good. And now, ever since then, I don't let it out of my sight. And I wear it all the time, and I like keep it by my bed. And it was just a really cool thing to happen. And I was like, it, like, it was like a very spiritual moment for me, and I really liked it. away by car and I get home probably once every three months so it's a nice way to just remember her and every time I see it or I feel it I think of my family and specifically her. I call it my sister ring. My mom bought them for me and my sister about 13 years ago for Christmas. She found them, I think she got them at Sam's Club and at the time I only wore white gold and my sister only wore yellow gold so it's a nice mixture of the two with some diamonds. And this was my sister's ring originally. And as I grew up, my fingers got a little bigger and her fingers got a little slimmer. So I think about four or five years after we got them, we switched them. So now I wear her ring every day and she wears mine. Now the next step is to um, 